Hey, ladies. Ah, ah, leave it, leave it. Good dogs. I'm gonna have to start checking udders soon. We're still about five weeks out. Brindle, leave it. So being five weeks out, there won't be much showing for the moment from lambing. So, whoop, nothing there. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Inca, Java, leave it. Java, Inca, Maya, leave it. Good dogs. Maya, leave it. Good dog. Good girl. Leave it. Uh, 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 Java, wait. Maya, wait. Uh, Inca, no, wait. Okay. Brindle, back here. Okay. Come here, pups. Come on. Good dogs. Leave them be. Good dogs. Have the eggs hatched yet of the tadpoles? Oh no, but there's more. Look at that. There's even more. Oh, some of them have hatched. Some of the ones that were over there have hatched. Lovely to have a good spawning of frogs. Isn't that right, ladies? Inca, leave it. Java, leave it. Good dogs. You're gonna get stomped if you're not careful, mister. Pups, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Good dogs. Look at that. This is a monoculture of ivy. This is not biodiversity. This is a takeover of ivy. This is a section of our woods that I'm gonna get the sheep to graze the ivy out so that we can establish a really biodiverse woodland floor like I've done in other areas of our farm. Here you can see the trees. They're pine, beech, ash. But there's no understory. These are mini ivy trees. <laughs> so yeah, those are ivy berries and they only feed one time a year, and the ivy flowers only one time a year. So the ivy only helps wildlife twice a year. And when you have the biodiversity of a biodiverse woodland floor, you're feeding wildlife throughout the year. And that's what I plan to do here. Fence it off and get the sheep to work at clearing this so that I can establish 
a woodland floor full of biodiversity, of flora, snowdrops, bluebells, cow parsley, aconites, anemones, Solomon seal, etc. So that is the plan.